Hello and welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, we are going to focus and embroider on the back of dad hats. Now, a key, key important information about dad hats is that all dad hats, all brands of dad hats are not created equal. When we are digitizing for a specific brand, this curve here on the back they are never the same from brand to brand and also they're not the same sometimes from hat to hat so our plan of action is to first create a template okay so in order to create a template i need to get this part this back part of the hat completely completely straight and then take a picture of our hat completely flat okay i got the gopro here so let's go ahead and let's first focus on setting up our hat template. Okay, so here we have our dad hat. And as you can see, okay, we have a specific curve we have to match. All right, so this curve, all right, in a perfect world, this would be a perfect oval or a perfect circle. All right, but as long as you have a ballpark curve and something that matches that brand, you can use that template for all your hats for that specific brand. So a lot of times this might seem overkill, but if you spend these couple minutes setting up your project, okay, once you have it dialed in, you're using that template for all your other hats. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to sacrifice this brand new hat okay brand new crispy hat i'm going to sacrifice it all in the name of science right now and also to have a nice fresh template okay that we can all use because i will have this template available on the romero threads facebook okay i'm going to become a little bit more active on our facebook because i have so much so much pictures and so many templates that I want to share with everybody. Okay, so I want to make this flat, okay? Now, if you want to make your own template, but you don't want to sacrifice a hat, you can always use the rounded hoops, okay? And get your picture like that. But I want to get this perfectly, perfectly aligned. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do when I want to make my hat flat, is get rid of these all right now I just want to simply cut down the seams all right so what I want to do I just want to cut this part that's kind of bulging up all right in order to eliminate that I just have to chop it up here on the top Okay, so now I have a template that I can use to perfectly align my text. So what I'm going to do now is take a picture of this template here. All right, now we're going to take it to Photoshop, Illustrator, make it look nice and pretty and set it up for our digitizing software. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our design. So the first thing we want to do is insert our picture. Okay, so we have our picture here. Now we want to go ahead and make sure it's centered and it is scaled to its proper size. So I want to go ahead. Okay, so this blue line here from this line to this line, that's one inch. Okay, that's just a reference point for me to have. I have my trace line. This is the line I want my letters to run with. Okay, and this is the actual stitching line of my, uh, of this curve line here. This is the actual line. So I want to be right above that line. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our text. Once everything is set, you can save your template. You can save this template, and from here on out, anytime you need to input a name, 
you could just go ahead and open up your save template okay so let's go ahead and add our text and you push the a here lettering and we're going to write Romero threads all right and my font I'm going to use this flare script it's a nice cursive text any shape so this is important this is the there's these are the different ways you can do it of course the traditional way is the arc or the circle okay but I want to be specific to this hat here okay therefore I'm using any shape and I will show you how to go about using the any, the any shape and the justification I go with the left justification just so I have that way I have I'm able to uh, to make fine adjustments okay you can always use your center one it's just I find it that you have more uh, more leverage okay by using this when it comes time to moving your uh, your text and then once you're ready to go you create text and here it's telling me to enter point one on the curve so here's where I'm going to start drawing out the path I want it to go okay so I'm gonna shape it out for it to be four inches okay so we'll start here because I know minus two okay I know minus two two times two four this four inch that I'm gonna go with and I'm going to use my trace line and I want to be on top of that trace line okay so we're going to put a right click that's just so it can round off all right so I'm writing I'm just writing this this path right here all right so this is my one inch here past the one inch all right now I get all the way to my two inch click enter Bam. Okay, there we go. Writing this line here. So I pushed H right now and I have I have the ability to edit the directions of my letter. But I just want to make it bigger here. Okay. I want to Okay, so I made it a tad bit bigger. All right, now, very important, you want this box. So this is the box of my text, okay? It's boxed in here, but I want this box to be perfectly centered here. All right, that, that way, when I take it onto the machine, I just simply use this uh, this seam here as my center point so th the way I do that I keep on moving to the right so H push H I grab them all of course there are different ways to uh, to move your text around okay All right, as you can see, I'm missing it by like a fraction. So let's take it, H, select, and I'm just gonna make fine movements here. All right, bam, I'm right on that seam. Okay, on that seam, that's fine. Okay, this is the center point. So when I'm tracing and I'm putting the needle, if you want it to be exactly here to ride this line, you would have to put that needle here, right on this mark here. Let's see, final size width 4.157, okay. So usually I like to stay below 3.5 inches. Now the thing is, you don't want it to get it too big. You don't want your text to be too big from left to right because then you have the potential of hitting your frame. This is pretty big. This is as big as I would like for it to be. 
let's see uh, I am I'm just gonna shrink it down a tad bit so we want to shrink it down with the letter H and then get this corner just telling you so we could bring it down 95% Okay, let's take a look, bam, that square box is right in the middle of that seam, perfect to go. Okay, now, see 3.87H. You can also make the text a little bigger. Gonna stretch the text a tad bit. Okay. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's go ahead, save this, and take it to the machine. All right. So we have a good view here. I have my cutaway here. So we got two pieces here. And simply going to all right. This is what these brackets are so so useful right here. Because just it holds down your backing. All right, now simply place the hat back here. Look at that. All right, and there's this little sharp tooth mark up here and down here. And you want to use that to center your hat. Okay, once that's centered, bam, just make little tiny tweaks to get that nice and straight. Bam, right there. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's take a quick look. This is a perfect, perfect way to have your stabilizer. See that? Everything is nicely, nicely packed up, nice and clean. Okay, we have our line nice and straight, ready to go. And the most important part is the trace. So let's make sure we trace and let's go ahead, let's stitch it out. For this type of design, you wanna do a contour stitch to follow the exact path of your hat. All right, let's go, let's take a look. Okay, we are off the station. Let's take it off the hoop. All right, let's look at our final product. Okay, we have consistency, space all around through. Okay, we are looking good, good to go. I like this font, very nice font, good size, nice and big, and it follows our curve. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now that I have that template, I could just keep that template, all right? And if, you're, if your template is ever off, you can always make little small tweaks, okay? Just to get that, that curve perfect. But as you can see, I am good to go. And there you go, another successful project in the books. Thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And like always, peace out.